I've been doing the Mind Magic by James Doty, week two of his program. This is my journal entry for today, October 24th, 2024. Keep in mind, I'm not religious. I don't go to church. I probably read the Bible once or twice. Be the change that I want to see in the world. I want freedom, time, location, work, financial freedom. I am blessed, I am successful, I am loved. I am aware of what I want to improve. Strip away all of the fat, useless habits and anchors. That could be people, possessions, bad habits. Make sure I track my time. I'm aware of what I'm doing. If I set up a system, I will realize there's not enough time to be messing around, doing crazy stuff. When I watch things on YouTube, other people's content, I'm making them money. They're making money off of me. If I'm doom scrolling on a social media, what's the point? It's because they're taking away my time, my attention and energy. I need to manage it and focus it where I want to go. I would love to be a millionaire in five years. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to manifest it. My car, it will be paid off by the end of the year within 12 months of ownership. That means that I have to be on the ramen diet. Ramen noodles every day. Take your time back. I forgive myself for I was ignorant. I had old false beliefs. I was angry, victim, fear. It's over. The past false beliefs, they no longer serve me. My kingdom, Alpha and Omega, birth and death, the start and the beginning. I think for the Alpha and Omega, the start and the beginning, I'm thinking of someone else and now I'm thinking Jesus is an example for every human being on this earth. Buddha, Bruce Lee, Martin Luther King, Lincoln, Muhammad, whatever you believe in. They're examples of you. So those stories are for you and how you can live. You could try to live like them if you want. You can embrace it or you can reject it. It's your choice. You have the freedom. I know some people say, why is why is there bad people in the world? And you need positive and negative, that's why. Same thing with a battery, you need positive and negative. If I were to reflect on things in my life, I haven't always been an angel. There's been a lot of dark times in my life. I remember when I was in college, I was struggling. It took me six years to graduate. And last year, I told myself, if you don't graduate, you got to leave. I work for the Center for Disability Services, one of the autistic kids, he had a swing, and I already planned it out. I visualized what I would do to myself. Obviously, I, I never intentionally tried to do it. I placed myself in these kinds of situations where I would be driving my car like a go-kart every single day. My blood pressure would be sky high. So the birth and death, suffering is normal, have pain, it's feedback. For example, a guidance missile. It will go in the wrong way, and then it will auto-correct. I'll have to figure out what I want and request to ask the universe. I don't need to know every single step. For example, I was working and I was trying to push code to the cloud. That server, I went down because I think I tried to run too many tests on it. The next day I tried it and it worked. How did it get fixed? Magic, I don't know. God fixed it. If God wants me to, to do something or be somewhere, and I have faith that it will happen if it, if it doesn't happen. I went to school at the College of San Mateo. I graduated with a certificate. I applied for over 30 jobs and I never got in. I know it's because I went there to meet people. My martial arts instructor, my boy Hector, and my boy Todd. Martial arts obtained me for at least 10 years so that I wouldn't, I would have an environment to unleash my energy and my anger. I could only imagine if I got hired, I would have hurt people. Todd, he helped me find my mother 10 years later. I saw her when I was 39. I learned that I needed to love myself. Nobody could give it to me because she didn't love herself. That's why she never came back for me. I appreciate her being around for the three or four months maybe that she was around in my life. I looked to my negatives. For example, I'm Asian. I grew up in upstate New York. I dealt with racism. I didn't like myself as a person, I'm sure, or I'm poor, or blah. I was watching a YouTube video, a doctor, 5'10", 
religious. He had both his mom and his dad. And I'm assuming he had bread. He's complaining about the same things that I was complaining about. That shows that everybody's trauma it's, can be comparable. Even though he probably had the perfect life in my opinion. He had money, he had all of these things that I never had. But then again, I was born in the US and I speak English. I'm pretty sure some people could say the same thing about me where I started working when I was 13. I had opportunities to make money. I was also listening to Luke Balmar and he said, I'm poor, I came from Argentina. And maybe monetarily, financially he was poor, but if he had a good family, he looks white and he had his siblings to back him. And that makes him one of the most richest people in the world, in my opinion. Because if, if you had a loving mother and father and siblings that loved shit, I never had that. I never. That's why I can't compare myself to other people and, and I shouldn't do it. I know not to do it. Based on books, based on self-development, even my boy Hector, he has both his mother and father. He's closest with his brother and he still got problems from the past. And I told him to read these self-development books, but he ain't ready yet, not aware. And I'll, I'll try to help him. Maybe that's why I met him in Academy. Cause looking back, all of the bad events, good events, they line up. I think I was positioned in certain times, certain positions so that I could learn and grow and maybe so I could help other people. That's what I want to do. I want to help people learn their value, learn how to love themselves, learn confidence, learn how to build systems to be successful, to build a financial portfolio, to get into tech if you want to get into tech, healthcare, those kinds of things. I never wanted a child to, to feel unloved. That's why I never had kids personally. I would accept what, whatever comes my way. I'm more focused on me. I was talking to one of my coworkers and I asked her, how's your weekend? And she said, oh, it's hectic. And I'm, I was thinking, I was watching another video of Chaz and he was saying, I have all of these responsibilities, kids. They have activities, homework. He has pets. I'm not interested in those things. That's why I don't have those kinds of problems. Some people, they get divorced. What's that movie called? It ends with us. This lady... She gets into a relationship, she marries and has a baby with a surgeon. And then she divorces him after the kid. Those are problems that I don't want because I could only imagine the alimony maintenance and the child support. It's just a broken home. I never wanted to repeat a broken home. I'm not close with my mother, father, and my brother. And that, that's how it is. It is what it is. And I would have to cut all anchors. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if you're my blood, my boy. If you're not swimming in my direction, then you gotta go. Cause I prioritize me. I was reading that awakened imagination. Christ has been born in me. Heaven and hell, it's all in my imagination. It's in my mind. It's what I want to create. I truly believe that Jesus Christ, the son of God, he's an example for me of who to be. He is me. That I am Christ, I am Jesus, and so are you that you could choose to live how they live. He water and I walked on water in the shower this morning. He turned water into wine. I heard that that's for forgiveness, that I need to forgive myself because failure, setbacks, challenges, those kinds of things, they're normal. All of these famous people, Christ, Buddha, Lincoln, Martin Luther King, they suffered. What makes you think that you ain't gonna suffer? Because use that suffering as feedback, as fuel. When you lose your job, when your girl leaves you, you could strip away these identities. You could grow, you could learn about yourself. You could be the best version of yourself. Humans, what are the chances of you being born? It's one in a hundred trillion. Technically, every day you win the lottery, that you have the perspective, you have gifts. You could walk around, you could see, you could think, you could read. And I think. I were to take, for example, voting. I take it for granted because everybody could do it. But back in the days, if you were a woman, if you were the wrong skin color, you couldn't vote. Same thing for reading. I wouldn't be able to read in the 17 and 1800s. I would have to go to an elite. I would have to ask him to interpret and read a book for me or write me a letter. Ask others to forgive me. The Christ is born inside 
my imagination. I set my own standards. You live by your own standards. You don't live by someone else's standards. I was thinking, I don't like public speaking because I don't want people to judge me. That's kind of sounds right because I would be judging myself and some people say I should be nicer. I'm thinking I'm pretty nice to you guys because if I spoke to you the way that I spoken to myself in the past, because I'm my most harshest critic, ignore outsiders of my kingdom. I am my Lord, my Holy Spirit, my savior. I am my king, I am my child, I am my God. I have everything I need. Failure, setback, suffering are normal. Pain is feedback, use it as fuel. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I could be wrong. I'm learning, I'm trying to grow. If I'm meant to go to church and be religious and get baptized, then I will. If it's not meant to be, because tomorrow isn't promised to anybody, I'm thankful for this life. I'm thankful for all of the people that help me, all of the people that surround me. We're all connected. One life, one love.